Hello, I'm, I'm Jenny from Easy Chinese and I have introduced you uh, the fried dumpling, boiled dumpling and today I'm going to introduce you the steamed dumpling which is uh, equally delicious as the fried and, and boiled. So now I'm going to make the dough first. This is uh, 700 gram of uh, plain flour. I uh, add half teaspoon of salt and this uh, steamed dumpling, half of this flour, I'm going to add the boiling water. This is uh, 200 milliliter of boiling hot water. I will put it in this side. So why I want to use the half of uh, uh, the flour, you know, mixed with the hot water, if this steamed dumpling, the dough, I want it to, to be soft and uh, you know when you eat it in the, the texture is better, it, not too hard, okay? So this half, I'll add 150 milliliter of the room temperature water. Uh, little by little I'm going to make the dough now okay after I knead the dough for five minutes and I just uh, you know make a smooth dough like this and put it cover it and put it aside. So today I'm going to make the beef filling. I think 15% fat is better, uh, but I only found the 5% fat. I'm going to season the beef. One teaspoon of salt. Light color soy sauce. Three tablespoons. Dark color soy sauce, one tablespoon. Oyster sauce, one tablespoon. Chinese five spices powder, so half teaspoon. One egg. Sesame oil, two, three, four, five. A few slices of ginger, three or four, spring onion, I put in the, this uh, food uh, processor, add a little bit of uh, water. Now I'm going to mix this uh, beef. Okay, good. Now I'm going to make the vegetables. This vegetable is the Chinese, we call it radish, big radish. It's um, our staple vegetables in winter time. We call it this radish uh, is uh, good for winter time. About 700 gram of this uh, radish. Boil this shredded uh, radish for 30 seconds only, okay? And then after 30 seconds, I will just uh, put in this cold water to cool down. All right, shred it. 30 seconds. Don't overcook it. Squeeze out the water. I'm going to roughly chop this shredded radish and then add into this beef. I need this dough a bit more, make it better, you know, smoother. 
So each time I will just cut about like a quarter, you put a little bit fast parsley flour. Roll this dough into a pail shape. Steamed dumpling can be a little bit bigger than the boiled boil dumpling and fried dumpling. This board is not big enough, so every time I can only manage to roll the quarter of the dough. I will cut uh, this dough in the even piece like this. About uh, this is about uh, how much? Two point two point five centimeter. This uh, diameter. Roll this uh, dough in a circle. This is about. Uh, eight to nine centimeter in, in diameter now i mix these vegetables and, and beef together right before i fold it otherwise they may release this vegetable may release water I'm going to put about uh, like a one tablespoon of this filling um, in the center of this uh, circle. Now we're going to fold it. Not halfway and then we fold this side into it. If that is too complicated, you can just simply put uh, this filling in the center and fold it like uh, this side, like this, this side, okay? Now we are going to put these uh, dumplings in the steamer. You put uh, this non-stick uh, paper, parchment paper first. Leave a bit of uh, room in between. Put it, uh, you know, put in water when the water uh, almost boil, and then you put this uh, on cover for fifteen minutes. Okay, now it's uh, 15 minutes. I turn off the fire. Okay, let's see. Ooh, wow, it's good. All right, I hope you enjoy it. You, I hope you have uh, learned how to cook the steamed dumpling. And uh, remember to check my other delicious recipe, like dumpling, boiled, fried, and also the other recipes. Thank you, see you next time.